and good morning vloggers. This morning, I'm up and about and I'm going to make some miso soup. Yes. I have little packs of miso, a little bit of uh, mirin, some hot water, swirly swirl, and uh, a nice bowl that I can uh, use to uh, make my miso soup. So, let's get down to this. I'm going to put a dash of that in there. Clear the top of the little miso packet. Now these are from Japan. They are proper miso paste. Squeeze this into here. This also has uh, the seaweed and stuff already mixed in with it. So it makes it so much easier to have miso soup. Done. Up a little bit. Get a bit of a mix around. Try not to burn my fingers. And fill with hot water. A little whisk. And that is a, a beautiful bowl of homemade miso soup. <sighs> mm. I really like miso soup. It's um, very refreshing and, and um, it's awesome. Alright, well, today I do want to go out to uh, Fountain Gate and have a look at uh, a couple of the camera shops out there um, because I need to get uh, an adapter plug for my microphone and I need to go and have a look at a body of a uh, camera um, to interchange with my lenses so that I can use a Rode mic um, uh, shotgun I think on top of it so that it, uh, I can um, upgrade a few things because uh, I need to use a hot shoe soon with a light especially if I'm going to be going in and doing um, the urban exploring a video that I've been planning to do for the last three months uh, I really need to um, go out and uh, get a hot shoe adapter fortunately really can't use it with the iPhone but you know so have to change a bit of the equipment that I'm going to be using for that particular uh, expedition. Um, so if I've got time today, we're going for a road trip to Fountain Gate. I wonder if they'll let me film inside the shopping center. Probably not. <laughs> I can only sometimes get away with it when I'm filming in Kmart. Oh, and sh food shopping at Coles. All right. Well, my miso soup is uh, all ready now. Oh, it tastes so good. All right, stick around. I might have another miso soup a bit later. Um, yeah. Don't know if I'm going to get Patrick out for a walk because uh, it's blowing a gale outside. Um, Patrick's out there barking away at the moment. <laughs> all right, stick around. More to do. Alright, so I found a store that has a 700D available in body form, so we're heading there now. We're going to uh, South Lane Shopping Centre, Westfield. Let's go. Well, just finished uh, 
grabbing the new 700D. Time to head home, do an unboxing, and uh, check out if I uh, ran over any roadkill on the way home. <laughs> well, I'm really thirsty, so I'm going to quickly grab myself a drink out of the vending machine. I think I'm going to go coffee. Coffee sounds good. Oh yeah, iced coffee. Well, finished up at Ted's in Southland Shopping Centre in Cheltenham. So I'm now heading home. We've got a couple of uh, What's in the Box episodes now to film. So let's go home and have a play with some toys. There's only a couple of these signs left in Melbourne. One is on top of a grain silo in the middle of the city in Richmond, and the other one is out here in Cheltenham. Still a pity that they uh, don't light up. They used to tell the time and the temperature. So there's a story behind the Nilex signs. Um, Nilex used to have a manufacturing plant uh, on Nepean Highway in Cheltenham, um, and at their plant, out the front, was their big neon sign, which is oh, the, the Nilex sign that I just showed you. Uh, and they also had an advertising board on top of a grain silo in Richmond. Um, since Nilex no longer manufacture and stuff in Melbourne anymore, um, they've all uh, gone to ruin, but the signs are heritage listed. Um, there's actually, you see the sign in a, a couple of uh, 80s and 90s music videos, uh, have been filmed in Melbourne so if you want to check those out they're cool it's a bit of Melbourne history uh, the Nilex sign in uh, Melbourne they're wanting to try and get it turned back on for ages it's a great sign it's just just you know unique advertising it's like the uh, the dandy ham and the um the skipping the skipping girl for the vinegar uh, at, uh, at Richmond and the, the dandy ham out, out at uh, Daniel Market all classic vintage signs in Melbourne um, I'll try and show you some of those other signs uh, in upcoming vlogs, so check out those when I do. So let's keep going. We've got to get home. It's uh, starting of uh, peak hour traffic, so it's going to be stop-start tra traffic all the way home. And I still want to get these uh, unboxing videos done because I'm excited. <music> Home at last. Get the shopping in. Ah, <sighs> well, home from shopping. So I've got shopping to put away and get set up, ready to do a uh, unboxing video. So stay tuned for a what's in the box from Ted's cameras, because uh, it's looking pretty good what I got there. So I'm gonna whack you guys over in the corner and do a quick time lapse of me putting everything away and getting set up for a what's in the box episode. So stay tuned. All right, well, I've done lots today. Went for a drive out to Southland. We found some roadkill nothing in my letterbox, filmed a couple of uh, what's in the box episodes, but now it's time for dinner. So I uh, went past Coles and we got some uh, some green salads, these are Asian bowl salads, and we've got some barbecue chicken. So I'm going to dish these up and uh, have my dinner. So if you've seen anything you like in these videos, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget if you have any comments, questions, or things I can be doing better in these videos, leave it in the comments field below on YouTube. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, 
hit that subscribe button, get notified when I do these, my daily vlogs, what's in the box episodes, which there were a few today, so make sure you check the link in the description below, uh, Urban Explorer, Brewing with Craig, Cooking with Craig, Car Maintenance, you name it, I film it, it ends up on YouTube, so hit that subscribe button, and until next time, see you in the next video.